What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about do Canadians like Americans? And <laughs> I gotta admit, I'm a little nervous about this question, but today I want to take a look at this Reddit discussion where somebody asked, how accepting are you and your community towards Americans that choose to move to Canada? Uh, I only ask because some countries, like the UK and other places, love to mock <laughs> or insult Americans at every opportunity. Oh my gosh. Well, I, I think I have a, I've seen a little bit of this on the internet before, uh, and I think it's kind of well known that when Americans travel to other places around the world, we're sort of, you know, stereotyped as, a, as bad tourists. Like, we're, we're loud, we're annoying, we don't bother learning about the, the local culture or acclimating to the local customs, and I get it. But I, I thought this question was really interesting, especially for me as an American. Uh, basically, are Canadians okay when Americans move to Canada and inevitably we bring some of our Americanness with us? And I just thought it would be kind of fun to check out some of the answers here from Canadians. Canadians' thoughts on Americans. So let's take a look here, starting with, if you want to come to Canada and be Canadian, that's great. If you want to come to Canada and be American, you're going to annoy people. Mmm, that's a really good answer. I can see why that was like voted to the very top here. That's a good answer. And it makes so much sense to me. But unfortunately, I think this might be the biggest problem most Americans have. Uh, that when we do travel to other countries or move to other countries, I don't know why, but we tend to, I don't know, for lack of a better words, be very American. Like, not really bought... First of all, we already don't know much about the outside world <laughs> to begin with. Um, so, I, I think this is a very, very true criticism. Um, although I'm sure there must be Americans that do a decent job of, like, moving to Canada and sort of becoming Canadian in a way. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's funny to me. Because this is such a, a popular sort of thing in America that when, when things are going bad in America, lots of people are like, that's it, I'm moving to Canada. And it's like, okay, for one thing, are you really? Because I think that's a lot of work. You can't just do that. <laughs> you can't just plop down in Canada and, and stay there. You got to do paperwork and stuff. But also, you... You probably don't know the first thing about Canada, um, so I, I think that's a good answer. In my experience, many Canadians enjoy pooping on America as a hobby. <laughs> really? Really? As a hobby? Really? Canadians, come on! You're not like playing playing hockey or something. <laughs> is that is that too on the nose? Too? I immediately go for the hockey. <laughs> but but your hobby instead is uh, making fun of Americans. But uh, many Canadians are generally warm and welcoming to all American people. Um, yeah, I mean, from my experience, you know, I've never been to Canada or really interacted with Canadians except online. And typically all the, the comments on my videos are extremely nice and very friendly and insightful. So, like, in my American experience, Canadians are very, very nice to me. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. I, I have kind of a unique experience, I guess, with that, uh, learning about Canada on the Internet. But every American I know personally has moved here and was welcomed with open arms. That's wonderful to hear. 
Real, because not all countries would necessarily be like that. Um, this is an aspect of Canadian culture I don't like. I, I know a little bit about, I guess, because I've heard Canada is very diverse. There's a lot of immigration that that goes on into Canada because Canada is a very, very desirable place to live. Um, I don't know how Canadians feel towards Americans, um, but you know, welcoming us with open arms. That's wonderful. Um, and, you know, I, I wasn't really sure. It place, other places, like I think Asian countries, like Japan, there's not a lot of immigration in, like, in, to Japan. They, don't, it's very, they make it very, very difficult. And from what I understand about uh, Japan or other, the other Asian cultures, it's, it's difficult to assimilate yourself into those cultures. So I don't know. Canada and America have kind of a unique relationship in that way. To be fair, we light, we enjoy lightheartedly pooping on our friends as a hobby. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. You like making fun of us. Fine. <laughs> okay, is there like, is this like a sport? Is there like an Olympic event for like making jokes about Americans? Because I'd like to see that. <laughs> that would be that'd be a good one. That'd be good. <laughs> that'd be entertaining. No one really cares unless they act like the stereotype of an of obnoxious American, uh, which do exist for sure. Uh, particularly, I'm trying to think what types of Americans are moving to Canada. Um, ones that are very very unhappy with America. Uh, it so. Is that going to be like a stereotypical American? Maybe not, because I think the stereotypical American is like just the one going, Ah, USA! Ah, I love guns! <laughs> My guns! And then it's like, oh, you can't, you can't bring your gun to Canada, probably. So uh, I'm trying to think of like American stereotypes. But the Americans going to Canada probably aren't like the most annoying stereotypical Americans. That's probably true, which people who move here generally don't do the stereotype. Okay, yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, Canadians are very accepting in general, and we're very used to Americans moving here and vice versa. Really? So Canadians are used to Americans? It's so, that's so interesting to me. Because here in America, um, gosh, I think I've, I've come across, like, one Canadian ever, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I have, who worked at a golf course or something. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, but it's not common at all. So to say that uh, Canadians are accepting and we're very used to Americans moving here, well... Uh, I, I don't think Americans have the same experience. I do think, as Americans, we are very, very accepting of, uh, like, Canadians, like, moving here. Uh, when it does happen, I think we're amazed. We're like, whoa, you're from Canada? You're from that place? What's going on up there? <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you say a boot for me? Just say it. Just say it once, please. And then, then we get all the annoying stuff out of the way and let you go. But uh, yeah, it's like running into someone from another country is so freaking rare in my experience. In my experience. Um, I guess if you live right up like in a northern state, right on the Canadian border, maybe it's more common. Um, but I think for most Americans, like we don't actually interact America is such a gigantic place. That's that's the thing as well. Uh, the only thing that might cause a raised eyebrow is if you come to Canada, especially the cities, with American values. Oh, that's interesting. Because um, it's like, part of me, I understand not overdoing the American thing, the American, bringing the American culture to Canada. It's Canada. And you're, you're living in Canada, and you have to respect Canada's culture, and try to, it's your responsibility to accommodate that and acclimate to that, uh, since you're the one moving there. I do understand that, but I also don't expect Americans to just 
completely abandon everything that like makes them American and the values they grew up with, you know? Um, so uh, if they have American values like gun ownership, right, right, that could be a point of contention. I still don't even really know what the gun ownership laws are like in Canada. I might do a whole video on that at some point because that could be very interesting. What is gun ownership like in Canada compared to America? Because it's pretty wild here. <laughs> um, privatizing everything, like corporations and whatnot. Free speech. Um, that's really a code for uh, propaganda. Um, okay, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to dive too deep into some of this political stuff. But uh, free speech, I mean, I suppose it depends on what you mean. I think, I think everyone can agree that getting to speak freely is a good thing, right? Right? That's, that's not just like an American value, right? Like, you know, as long as you're, <laughs> as long as you're not, you probably shouldn't be able to threaten someone's life with your speech. That's, you know, but like, I don't know. Everything else is probably okay. <laughs> Sometimes you need, like, bad things to be said as well. Within reason. Within reason. Uh, you need bad... Bad things need to be spoken so everyone can, like, acknowledge the bad things. You can't just, like, lock them up and shut... Say, shut up! And, and you know, tape their mouth shut. Because that, that causes other problems um, in a way. Anyway, I don't mean to go on some kind of weird free speech rant, but I guess, yeah, maybe that's the American in me, like, coming out when it's like, don't come to, when, when I read, don't come to Canada and bring your free speech, it's like, that's, that's a little strange for me to hear. Like, I, I, I think everyone wants to be able to speak their mind, you know? You might not always like it, you know? It might not even be good for you. But at the end of the day, it might be necessary for, like, civilization, you know? <laughs> anyway, I, I could be totally wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's just one American's weird opinion. Uh, just respect our culture and don't bring MAGA stuff with you and we're cool. Oh, this is, see, uh, it's interesting to me that Canadians really seem to be sort of on the pulse of American politics. Because most uh, Americans don't have any idea about Canadian politics or the political parties. or So it's, it's actually interesting for me that Canadians like actually know about some of this political stuff and have strong opinions on it. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's, of course we landed right on another political comment. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> Generally, uh, I neither know nor care about your immigration status. Because our accents are similar, I often have no idea if someone's American unless they bring it up. Ah, that's interesting, because oh, I've wondered this. When Americans uh, travel to Canada, how obvious is it that we are American? Is it easy to spot us? Does our accent give it away? Um, there's plenty of Canadian celebrities that I never knew were Canadian. So their accent didn't give it away. Huh. So this is probably more true than I think. That Americans in Canada often go unnoticed, even. We can go undercover. You'll never know. <laughs> Why? This changes everything. Um, Americans are accepted just as much, if not more, than any immigrant group. So America... Okay, this kind of... So far, this overarching question of, like, do Canadians like Americans? Canadians like Americans if we're cool. <laughs> if we're chill, if we're normal, um, then Canadians are like, sure, yeah, you're fine. You're just a normal person. It's when Americans uh, get too, I don't know, American in a way, or, or bring some of the annoying qualities of American culture into Canada, uh, that's when Canadians are like, uh, but that would be true for anybody, not just Americans. It's like, if anybody is coming into your, your country or your community, 
and is like just trying to stomp on your culture and not even attempt to acclimate and not even attempt to like become uh, part of the Canadian culture in some way, then I would uh, understand if you were annoyed. So yeah, if Americans are coming in and like, ah, I'm gonna make this like America, it's like, that's, that's disrespectful. So yeah, I, I get it. That said, that doesn't mean you won't hear any criticisms or mockery of America. Okay, <laughs> immediately, you know, I was kind of riding the high there for a moment. I was like, Canadians do accept Americans. We can all get along. We can all move to Canada. And it's like, that being said, there's criticisms and mockery of Americans. You're our only land border. Your media often dominates our media. America is impossible to ignore. People will have opinions. This is a great point, by the way. This is such a great point. Um, and, a, and a big difference between Canada and America. Uh, I mean this with the utmost respect. But in America, we don't talk about Canada. We don't learn about Canada. We don't know anything about Canada. That's, that's a generalization of America. And that's just the truth. Um, it's not because we don't like Canada. It's because in America, we don't talk about anyone else, any other country, any other culture. We're just in our American bubble where everything going on here is the most important and the only thing that matters. And we're just focused, focused on our problems. Um, whereas in Canada, it sounds like Canadians are much more on the pulse of what's happening in America and seem to know a lot more about American culture. So you can actually have opinions on us and criticize us because you know about us. You've heard, you know about it. You've heard about us. Whereas Americans don't, you know, that, that, that's one, that's like the biggest reason I even started this channel is to learn about Canada because I didn't know anything about Canada. Um, generally accepting, we're generally accepting of Americans unless they try to tout American rights here in Canada then you'll make, be made fun of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, like if you're, if you're an American going to Canada, like you can't be like, oh, this government is stupid. Uh, it should be like ours. If, if that's the case, why did you even go to Canada? So that's another reason I doubt that happens all that often, but you will be made fun of. <laughs> if you quote your First Amendment or Second Amendment rights and how you can behave in Canada, then get out. Yeah, yeah, if you start, oh my gosh, if you start um, talking about your American rights and American laws in Canada, then you're just crazy. I'm, like, I'm sorry, but that's just nonsense. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, all right, we, the, we've been at this a while. That was a really interesting discussion. That was a really interesting question. Do Canadians like Americans? How do Canadians feel about... Americans in Canada, and there's a lot of interesting answers here. It was a lot more friendly, actually, than I anticipated. Like, Canadians seem, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, but because Canadians seem actually very understanding and welcoming, and I think Canadians have the correct mindset of, sure, you can come into our country um, as long as you're, you know, you behave yourself. You abide by our laws, respect our culture. If you're a cool dude or girl, uh, then yeah, that's fine. Everything's fine. And that makes complete sense to me. Uh, so <laughs> I, I, this actually gave me quite a bit to, to think about. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. Um, and I, I enjoyed this discussion, actually. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like. Uh, or leave a comment with your thoughts on what you think of Americans, if you're Canadian, what you think of Americans, what you think of Americans moving to Canada. That'd be very interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and learning about Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching. And see you next time.